Hi guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Honest Try TV. And today we're going to be making the chicken ramen and shoyu style broth plus mushrooms, chili garlic oil, and crispy onions from HelloFresh. And we should have enough for four servings. I'm curious about these crispy onions. How are they gonna stay crispy if I put them in in the ramen broth? Also, what's this? Is that, what is that? Oh, that's spinach. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. Okay, very curious about how, how this is all gonna work out. So let's let's go ahead and get our ingredients out of the um, refrigerator and get cracking. So give me just a second, I'll be right back. There we go. And uh, for protein, I need, da, 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 da. what am I getting? Protein. Oh, chicken breast, chicken breast. Here we go, two packages of chicken breast. So let's go ahead and dump out all of our ingredients. And we're gonna save our bag and set it aside for trash. So it'll be over here, off camera. And let's get started, all right. Um, got any leftover noodles? Serve second helpings during dinner. Da da da. In Japan, this means double. Blah, 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 blah. Want to add to stir fry with saute vegetables? Oh, scrambled eggs in your favorite sauce. Oh, that's cool. I actually have stir fried veggies and fresh eggs from my cousins. Oh, and a really great sauce. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, all right, cool. They really do give you some really awesome tips over here on the side. I like that. All right, so anywho, let's start with the prep. Um, I need to get a large pot of salted water boiling and a cutting board and knife so we can prepare all of our ingredients here. So let me go ahead and grab that beer back. Okay, and we're back. So I have my cutting board and knife ready, and I have a pot of salted water coming to a boil over there on the stove. So next we're gonna, let's see, they want us to peel and mince garlic, which if you are, if you've been around long enough, you know that I never peel and mince garlic. I'm far too lazy for that. I just, I have pre-minced garlic in the refrigerator. Oh. Our crispy onions. So we're not gonna fry onions today. Interesting. Here's our garlic. Just going over here into the magic bag. Um, I have a giant jar of minced garlic in the refrigerator from Costco. We'll use that instead. So skipping that stuff. Next, we're going to trim and thinly slice scallions. Scallions. Okay. Then we're going to peel and mince our ginger. We're going to do this in a ninja. And we're going to trim and thinly slice our mushrooms. So, huh. All right. So there we go with that. Um, so let's go ahead and. Um, Let's see what the next step is. The next step is to make chili garlic oil. So it's here. In a small microwave safe bowl, we're going to combine the sesame seeds, which are here. Ses wait, sesame seeds. Sesame seeds. One packet. A little more. Ha -ha. Sesame seeds with garlic. Half the sesame oil. One, two, three, three, four packages of that. So half would be these two. A little drizzle of, rel of you'll use the rest of a drizzle of olive oil, I guess. Uh, why, would you, why would you add olive oil? 
and a big pinch of salt with chili flakes. Chili flakes. Red pepper. There we go. Is that the only place? No more red pepper? Okay. So we're going to put this in a bowl and then we're going to put it in a microwave for 30 minutes, for 30 seconds, and then set it aside. So this is quick. Once the water comes to a boil, we're going to add the ramen noodles, which are here. We're going to cook them for two minutes, take them out, drain them, and then add some oil. And then we're going to return them to the empty pot, return the empty pot to the stove. And then we're going to use that same pot. We're going to drizzle oil and we're going to add the ginger, the white bottoms, <laughs> white bottoms <laughs> of the scallions and more garlic. Okay. All right. I think I, I, okay. So let's start with these. Let's start with these. <clears throat> um, I like to read ahead nowadays so that I can see, you know, what I'm going to need first because then maybe I can have something going while I'm prepping the other ingredients that I'm going to need to use later. So, to the extent that we can multitask, let's do that and reduce our prep time as much as possible. All right, so here we are with our scallions. Oh, I missed you, I missed you, I missed you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right, stay over here, stay over here, friends. All right. So let's, let's take these to stove. Where our water is boiling. Oops, wrong direction. And let's go ahead and drop these in. We've got two, two minutes. seconds already down. I'll toss this in the trash, grab my little strainer. Oops, 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 we're boiling over. Let's turn you down. Okay, and um, just in time, I've got a strainer that has smaller holes. So first I'm gonna, this is pretty heavy. It's taking two hands for the little people, so let me just dump this really quick. And da -da, da -da 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 -da. Ta -da! This feels a little hard right here. Like we didn't boil at all. I might need to cook a little bit more. Hmm, that's, that's interesting. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like stuck together still. You see that? Oops, oops, oops. Come here. Where'd you go? All right. Drain, then toss with the boil. Okay. Let's grab some oil. You don't have that much. No, oh, we don't have that much left. Okay. I think we're gonna. Okay, so here's our oil. So we can keep these from sticking together. I don't know. It just turned into one giant solid lump. I guess I should have stood there and stirred. The directions didn't say that, so whatever. Okay, enough of this. I think this will be enough ramen for the three of us because that is one good thing. Even though I am making four servings, there's only three people. So I think we can discard this safely and it'll be all right. So I'm just gonna... Yeah. And... I'm going to try to clean this out really quick so that we can reuse it. Just a moment. I will put you guys over here. 
And when I'm back, my pot will be clean, full of oil, and ready to receive our scallions. Just a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, with a different pot. I tried cleaning the other one, and um, those little pieces were really sticking hard to my nonstick pot. So screw it. We got some oil in here. We got the next size pot down. Hopefully it's still big enough. Um, according to the instruction sheet, we're supposed to add a drizzle of salt, and then we're supposed to do scallion whites, ginger, and garlic. So let me go ahead and get our, while this is heating up, we've got our, our scallions over there. We need to get our ginger chopped. So I'm gonna go ahead and break out our ninja, and we're gonna get the ginger Need the ginger in place and like I said the garlic I'll grab the garlic right now but yeah there's your garlic your minced garlic done and done okay let me grab my knife our two pieces of ginger put this bad boy in and we're done So I'm going to go ahead and start adding this. Mmm, it smells wonderful. Adding this to our pot. My sister-in-law is a boy now. You know, she's really his first cousin. Is a chef. In New York. City. And, um, she is making custom baby food recipes for me right now. I'm so freaking excited. Be right back. Let me grab the ginger and the scallion white. Boom. Here we go. So, that's how we're looking. Next we're gonna add three and a half cups, or sorry, seven cups of water. Lord, I hope I can hold some cups of water in this pot. Keep me in prayer, you guys. Alright, so I did six cups because I got scared. I got scared. We're getting close to the top. So we're just going to stop here. And our soups will be slightly more concentrated than what the uh, recipe calls for, but I'm sure it'll be fine. We like our stuff strong anyway. So now I'm adding the uh, chicken stock. So I'm just adding the um, ramen pork flavor. Broth concentrate now. Okay, and then lastly, we've got soy sauce. Um, here, here we go. Sorry, I was looking for the tear. Most of these little plastic packages um, come with a nice, easy tear already in them. So, uh, there we go. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, bring to a boil, then cover and reduce to low heat. So, I'm going to. Bring this bad boy up to high now that we've got everything in. I'm gonna mix it up. Bring this bad boy to a boil. And then reduce it, cover it, and let it simmer until we're ready to serve. Alright, so in a pan, we're gonna prepare first our chicken and then our mushrooms. Add some oil. And um, I'm going to go ahead and pat our chicken dry. All right. All right. I'm going to carry this on over to the, to the thingy. I'm going to carry this. Oh, let's see if I can use my elbow. Oops. You hear that? That's the grease bop. And whoops. Ah, wrong direction, come on. There we go. Let's see if you guys can see me carry this over there and put it in the pan. Be right back. Now that I have clean hands, I'm gonna bring you guys over. Um, so, as you can see, I'm too small for four pieces. Um, 
So, oops, small, oh, wrong way. So, um, yeah, too small for four pieces. We're gonna do three right now. We're supposed to salt these. I'm gonna do that now. And we're cooking them for five to six minutes per side. And that's what we're looking like. I got a timer set for five minutes. This was at a boil, I turned it down. Um, I now need to put a top on it, so I'm gonna do that now. All right, so now while that's cooking, let's work on the mushrooms, because they're gonna go into this pot, net, this pan next, after this is done. And we haven't sliced them at all. So let's go ahead and get these mushrooms together. I'm gonna get another cutting board. Ooh. These are dirty. I'll be back. I'm going to need to wash these bad boys off. Yeah. Be right back. Got to go wash my mushrooms. Okay, I'm back. Our timer went off for our chicken, so I used a fork, a clean fork, to flip them. And they're going to cook for five minutes on the second side. Um... And so that leaves me with about five minutes to chop these mushrooms, which have been washed, and we're done. Got about two more minutes left on our chicken. And then we're gonna saute these, and then we're gonna saute this. Before we take our chicken out, they want us to drizzle with some Sesame oil and turn the chicken to coat a few times. Then we transfer it to a cutting board. So I'm just going to pour the water, leftover water out of this. See if we can maybe, maybe get some of our mushrooms back in here. Because we're going to need to use this cutting board to slice up the chicken. There we go. So now I can use this cutting board to slice up the chicken, which will be ready in about 48 seconds. So let's go ahead and take this over, our sesame oil. Oh, and by the way, so that's what we're looking like. And over here, ba -ba -ba, it's boiling nicely. All right, so we're supposed to add some sesame oil. That's what I have with me here. I'm gonna just add some of this into the pan. Bring these bad boys into it. Come on. So now we're going to do the mushrooms, oil in the pan, mushrooms in the pan, and I said to add salt. Okay. Use my little handy spoon over here. Oh, well, that's working. I'm going to come over here and work on my chicken breasts. Alright, so this guy's done. No pink in the middle. Looking good. So those are done. Let's go back over here to our mushrooms. It should be just about done. Move this out the way. Let's grab our spinach. And to the spinach, yeah, just add oil and then spinach. Well, that's working. Let's work on our, our oil because we never did do the garlic chili oil. And we're done. Oops, man down. <laughs> man down, no. All right, we need one more bowl. We're gonna make this. We're gonna do sesame, sesame seeds. It's in half the garlic. It's gonna be a little bit more than half. I'm gonna use the rest of this, sesame oil. And then we've got 
A drizzle of regular oil, I'm not going to do that. I feel like that's unnessary. We're going to do a big pinch of salt. I'll do that later. And the chili flakes. So chili flakes. And be careful. I don't want to get this all over my kitchen. Yeah, I don't know why they have you do this as step two, because then by the time you're done, like, can this be cold? So I'm going to stir this up, microwave it for 30 seconds. Add some salt first. Stir it up, microwave it for 30 seconds, and then we'll be back. We'll be, we'll be done. All right, so now I'm going to pour the broth, and then last air, the scallions and the crispy onions. Don't add the crispy onions until you're absolutely ready to eat, because... As suspected, they're going to get soggy. So we're going to do the broth now. So just a second, let me go grab that. All right. There we go, y'all. Looks like it's the last step. See ya. And we're done, y'all. So these are my three bowls of ramen. Um... These portions are massive because these technically for four for four people, but whatever. <laughs> and we'll be back to let you know how it all turned out. Talk to you later. Hey guys, this is Nicole with Honest Try TV again to review the chicken ramen and show you style broth. Um, I would give this a nine out of ten, and Jason also gave it a nine. Jair, what would you give this? The ramen on a scale oh, of 1 to 10. 8.5. 8.5. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah, we really enjoyed it a lot. It was freaking amazing. I would just wish there had been more seasoning on the chicken, honestly. I wish the chicken had been more flavorful. As I said, I don't usually have chicken ramen. Normally, I have it with pork shoulder. So, But, I mean, everything else, all the other ingredients... Fabulous. I thoroughly enjoyed this. Freaking amazing. Turned out really good. The broth, the broth was on point. So, yeah. Feel free to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts. If you have any questions or concerns or recommendations, we're always happy to hear from you guys. And, yeah, we will see you later. So, thank you so much for joining us. And check us out next time. Bye.